Day number 10 and today we're gonna be looking at a sales funnel dashboard in Power BI. Now sales funnels mainly deal with how our customers came into and went out of our sales process. We can see that this data is presented on the top left of our dashboard with funnel charts. And funnel charts seem to be a pretty good fit here as they show the drop off of our customers in each step pretty well. The drop off being the amount of customers that we lose through our sales process. Now, one thing that is true is they take quite a lot of space and we're actually missing some context to the numbers. So if we would compare them to previous year or maybe plan, we would get a better understanding if a step of our sales process is actually performing well or not well. To give you an example, looking at this, can we actually say is 4.7 millions of one revenue, is that good or is it bad? Underneath the funnel, I can see that we have some ratio cards. Well, this now got me thinking, how about we combine the ratio cards and the two funnels together into a single visualization that would help us visually represent a coherent story of our sales process. So what I'm thinking is changing the funnel charts with Zebra BI cards, which will allow us to add more context comparing these numbers to plan and then stacking them one on top of each other, showing uh, or following our sales process. So all the way from uh, one revenue to our sessions. Then what we can do is we can take the ratios, also visualize them with Zebra BI cards and add them to in between each step um, of the sales process where they um, give us even more information, so where they kind of fit. And if we add a trend line um, to all of these ratios, we can get a really cool understanding of how our sales process works. This will now allow us to answer questions like, are we converting more customers than we were before in all of our sales steps, right? So all of the sales steps that we have to go through. Another thing is that this will allow us to use our canvas a lot better, not only because we're showing more data and more insights, but we're also showing the calculation logic from top to bottom. Now let's move on to the right part of the dashboard where we can see that we have our customers represented with the pie chart. And pie charts are really tricky for me as after about the third of our customers, I really don't understand exactly what I'm looking for anymore. So what I would advise is to change this visualization with something a little bit more structured, like a structure chart made by Zebra BI tables. This will also allow us to add in some context to our data with automatically generated and calculated variances that are then added to visually represent this data um, also to our table. This now allows us to, in the same space that was taken up previously by the pie chart, show a lot more data and a lot more insights, um, giving us the ability to make better decisions. But that's not all. We also get a structured overview of our clients by the amount of sales that we were able to produce with them. And also because of the variances, understand is this value is something that we were expecting or should we expect more from them? We can also limit the number of customers that we're showing here with Zebra BI's top end function, where we can focus on just the customers that are bringing in the most value to us. For the last visualization, we have a custom column chart that is showing us our trends. However, because of the amount of columns and colors used, the trend discovery is quite difficult. Actually, we haven't spoken about this, but color usage throughout the initial report went quite far away from the guidelines set forth by IBCS. And one thing that we have to note is that color is a very powerful tool in the tool belt of any analyst. However, with great power comes great responsibility. So IBCS teaches us to only use strong saturated color for variances and well, use colors only when they have certain meanings. Now we can see that in our example, visualized by Zebra BI, the color usage is very scarce and follows the IBCS guidelines. And this is something, the standardization is something that is going to help keep your reports clear, not just on this dashboard, but you should strive to have this on all of your reporting throughout your organization. 
So if we visualize the same data with Zebra BI, we will be able to add more context to our numbers with the automatically visualized and calculated variances, but that's not all. The wiser color usage and the standardization throughout all our visualizations and the logic that our visualizations follow will now help keep our visualizations more clear and understandable. Also, our trend discovery will be a lot easier than it was initially. So don't wait, use the power of standardization today and download the template from the description below. Also, be sure to like, subscribe and come back tomorrow so you don't miss the final two days of the Zebra BI report makeovers.